Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to actually uh, change the, um, the hashtags on this. Okay, that's actually uh, for the workers' strike. Is uh, Vistian workers? Uh, they were promised pensions, but they were betrayed. I can spot one for the pension cheat. The guy worked for about 30 years, but uh, for the, the I think they're ah uh, oh boy. So their uh, pension actually uh, they're uh, being denied their pension. Damn it. And uh, ironically, across the way from them is actually the uh, the Gurkhas. The last time I heard, they were also having a strike about their pension. They're being denied, the, uh, I think, the proper pension. I think they they were going to be uh, given only um, the Nepalese um, <laughs> pension, which is actually ridiculous. Like, they're in the country. Never ever have to do this work again. I spoke on the verge of sentiment, this long-running disrespect. We did it partially like that, and I promised you another year today. We first of all, a big cheer to the Gurkhas who are fighting for that pension as well. <laughs>
The decision will always rest with you people. Now, like I've said, as an officer, I do this for a living. My own factory at Peugeot in Wrighton closed down six years ago. And on the first weekend, we picked it in a garage with about 200 people. Week two was about 150. By week five, there was about a dozen of us there. Look at this for five years on. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And it's not just tonight. You will never forget what the Vistie and Pensioners have done. It won't just be four. You will never forget what the Vistie and Pensioners have done. Let every company, every multinational company we deal with in the UK, let them know. They'll do right by their pensioners or they'll suffer the consequences. Thank you. Well, thanks, Ron. Anyone else want to say food? Yeah, Trevor. Trevor did say he was going to speak to a wedding service. He didn't promise. <laughs> well, well, Trevor's bidding his way to the front. Bethan's going to say a few more words. Red, red speech now, I think. <laughs> um, I think now that we're in front of uh, Westminster, I think that, you know, it all brings it back to us how important it is that we're here today and that everybody um, is campaigning still. I was talking to a few of you earlier who said, well, I haven't done much. Well, you have, because you're here every year making sure that your voice is heard. If there was only ten of us here today, they would know that it would be easy to ignore us. But the fact is that year on year we've been consistently coming down here to London, Nick Ford and the MPs who, who did come on board then understand that we are not going to go away until we get the deal that is fair for all of you and fair so that you can enjoy the pension that you rightly deserve, as I said, in front, in front of the United Building. And I know many of you will be concerned about the exact deal that you may get but I urge you all to think about this and to consider where we were at the beginning of this, where we thought that we wouldn't get to this point. Many of your colleagues haven't unfortunately joined the fight. They gave us before even joining in. You need to be congratulated for carrying on to make sure that you be here until the end and we can have something, I hope, to celebrate at the end of this. I am very proud to be associated with you. I'm proud of the work that you've all done. And I urge you all to continue the fight until we get a fair deal for all of you. Congratulations. Well done. Stop the Thank you, Thank you Tre Trevor thought he was going to get up to this. Yeah. I mean, as you know, the PPAC campaign got us going really in probably the summer of 2009, and uh, Trevor Jones played a key part in that. So, Trevor. Thank you, Rob. Rob, you want me to sing a song? Uh, this could be the last time, but um, I'll probably do that at 2 o'clock when it's time to go back and find the coach because it will scare the whole of Parliament. Five years ago, we suffered a moral injustice, every one of us. Today, I think we all stand here shoulder to shoulder, it's been a moral victory. Nothing else but a moral victory. And we've got to thank everyone, every one of you, Roger, our MPs, Unite Union, for supporting us all this way. Without each other, we wouldn't have had this moral victory. So I'd just like to say, I'm proud of being standing next to every one of you at, at the meetings, at the marches, at Rayleigh, at Swansea, Belfast, Enfield. Uh, thank you all for the effort that you put in. It's your victory, and we're going to make it that victory. So well done to every one of you. Be proud. Go forward. Thank you.
Well done. Great 
trade union stock his grandfather and the late uh, Glenn Williams was the president of the Wales Miners. And I am very proud of the work that he and all the shop stewards have done working with you, representing you, and keeping faith to the very end. Yes, Mario. Thank you. Is there, is there any other MPs who want to say a few words? <laughs> is there an MP who doesn't want to say something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's three. Go right close. Okay, yes, there is an MP who wants to say something. What a surprise. Uh, look, uh, I know uh, the guys in Edfield, where I'm from. You know, I remember, uh, I remember when you took to the roof many, many years ago when it first started. And, uh, you know, yes, I haven't seen the details, but I'm really proud of you and I'm pleased for you. You, if Enfield and the rest of you can make Detroit, Michigan, Chicago all quake, well done. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I'll be going back to Parliament Square, and hopefully, yep, this will be good. So peace out.